Hey guys and welcome back to another Love Distance video. As you can see, I'm here by myself today, which is fine, which is fine. I'll try not to cry. Uh, for today's video, it's it's a solo video and it's about the five problems or issues I have in my long distance relationship. So stay tuned. Just like any other relationships, it's not easy. And in a long distance one, <laughs> it's a little bit harder. And there are certain issues or problems that you go through that you won't go through in a normal relationship. We face them together, me and Shante, we face them head on and we always try to talk about any issues or any quarrels or disagreement we have. We, we make sure to communicate so it doesn't escalate to something more. I said I was gonna go over some of the issues problems I face personally in my long distance relationship number one miscommunication being a long distance relationship miscommunication happens a lot because most of our conversations are over the phone or through text and sometimes I might be trying to say something like a joke or something else but then when it when Shante reads it or Shante hears it it's, it's a lot of miscommunication. Talking on the phone is not, it's, it's, it's really annoying. Um, especially if the internet is bad, which is one of the issues, which I'll go into more in detail later. Um, and it's, it's, it's really annoying when you're trying to say something, it comes off, comes off the wrong way. And now someone's sad or someone's upset. And you're like, yo, what did I do though? <laughs> but you no, know, I'm glad that me and Shanti have um, uh, we have good communication in the sense of we actually do speak about our problems, our issues to make sure everything works out. Um, so if if she does hear something wrong, um, she would definitely she she's humble enough to okay, babe, what what were you trying to say? Or let me explain my side. And that's one of the reasons I love about her. She's super understanding. And yeah, women's communication is definitely an issue. Um, but for the most part, we do work it out. Number two, the internet. Connectivity. I don't need to explain to anybody that's from Jamaica watching this video what what my what the problem I'm facing with the, with the internet is. It's it's it sometimes it sucks. Um, doesn't work as effectively as you want it to. Video calls are not very pretty. Video calls are just horrible. For the most part, sometimes, sometimes, some days it has its good days. Sometimes I'm like, yes, baby, looking fabulous today. Another day is just like, babe, I can barely see your face. Uh, but we, we, I, I, well, I personally have to push through it. Um, just you no, know, like, all right, cool. Just, just one of those bad days and try to just ride the storm. But thank God for some of those good days. Thank God. And the calls just get disconnected. Sometimes light gone. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Having a relationship with a girl in Jamaica is is sucks. Number three, scheduling. Uh, this it's not really a, a giant issue, but it's annoying in a way. Um, I'm an hour ahead. Well, currently, as for this video, I'm an hour ahead of Jamaica, and it's it's hour is not that bad. But when you know, I have which means I have to go to bed earlier for work, and Shante is up. She wants to talk to me some more, but I gotta go to work because I'm out right ahead, and it it kind of kind of makes her sad. Um, but it it something that we have to we have to really deal with. Um, and scheduling also in sense of Shanti has her own life, right? She goes to school. I'm I'm in school currently and working at the same time, so there's not much time I can give to her. It's not like she can come over to my house. We hang out. Like I'm doing homework while she's just there, we're chilling together. It's not that's not a thing we can do, and it, it as, again it sucks. Like I've been saying it a lot, but it just really sucks being um, being so far apart. But as I said, we we communicate, we make it work, and yeah, for the most part, we do set up times where we actually like okay, put everything aside, just me and you, 
on the phone communicating talking about life talking about each other talking about um good things so yeah it does it does we we, have, we find a way to make it work number four physical touch when it comes down to love language physical touch is my number one so for me it's harder to be away from shante because you know sometimes i want to hold her sometimes i want to color her sometimes i want to hold her hand it's it's that's that's just me that's me physical touch so it's it's harder for me than it's for her um being apart and you know it's i really get excited for when like i'm close to visiting her but because of COVID-19, it's not so easy. I'm not able to just leave my work to go to another country. Even though I'm pretty, like when, when I have breaks from work, I can't really leave because there's a policy and I have to be quarantined after I come back from another country. So, and yeah, it's not, it's not, it's rough, it's rough. I want to visit, I want to visit, and especially this year. I want to visit this year so badly, but, we just gotta see what what God has in store. Cause right now it's looking dim. Looking dim. But I have faith that if God wants me to see her this year, I will see her this year. I just gotta leave it in God's hands. Not I don't see the way. I don't see it. But I just don't believe. I just don't believe. Last but not least, number five. I'm not able to be there, which means her birthdays. I'm not able to be there. If she accomplished something new, I'm not there to celebrate with her. Anything, just being there for her to, to make to make her happy, to to when she's sad, to comfort her, all these things. I'm not able to be there for her. When she's nervous, I'm not there to hold her hand and say, babe, it's gonna be okay, you can get through this. None of those moments, even this year when she graduates, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make the graduation. And I know this makes her very sad. Makes makes me not makes me sad for not being able to see that smile on her face when she finally finishes. <laughs> when she finally finishes to celebrate that with her to be in her happiness. It's it's not being able to be there in those special moments really probably hurts me the most out of everything. I want to be there for her. And it's not possible right now. But, but, um, soon. Soon, soon, soon. Soon, hopefully we're able to close this distance soon. So I can share in those moments with her. Be there for her when she needs me the most. Wipe her tears when she cries. I want to be in those moments. I want to be there for her. So hopefully soon we're able to close this distance and certain stuff can get, get done. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Those are the five issues or problems I face personally in this long distance relationship. And um, I, I couldn't wish for a better partner than Shante. She's really made, even though a lot has happened, she really has made this easier for me. And I, hopefully I was able to do the same for her. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.